Hello everybody. I hope life is good. The weather has become very pleasant despite the fact that most of us are staying at home at our respective homes and I time and again tell you people that it is it is a god given opportunity. So do your utmost cover your courses read a lot of material try to write as much as you can because uh, in advanced academic reading and writing we can't do uh, without reading and writing because the both both reading and writing go hand in hand are so deeply interlinked are so connected uh, you are getting the time of your life to improve upon so many things and one important subject which you are currently studying is creative non-fiction in my earlier lecture I had at length discussed this subject called creative non-fiction we will repeat some of the things some of the points rather key points from an earlier lecture and uh, I am supplementing all those points key points uh, in this new lecture with new material so most often people might ask you what is creative nonfiction and we have discussed it earlier but I want to re-emphasize and redefine it so that uh, you shouldn't forget it in time to come uh, as we all know there are many ways to define the literary genre we call creative nonfiction it is a genre that answers to many different names depending on how it is dealt with and who is doing the defining some of the names some of the names this genre carries are literary nonfiction narrative nonfiction literary journalism imaginative nonfiction lyric essay personal essay, personal narrative and memoir or literary memoir. Uh, creative nonfiction we can say is another way of writing fiction because of the way writing changes the way we know a subject. I am a lover, lover of this form, I am a devotee of this form uh, and we can broadly uh, define it as is possible. It can be described as memory or fact based writing that makes use of styles and elements of fiction, poetry, memoir and essay. It is a writing about and from a world that includes the author's life and or the author's eye on the lives of others. Either we can talk about our own life in this genre or we can talk about the lives of other people. However, under the umbrella called creative nonfiction, we might find a long list of subgenres such as uh, memoir, personal essay, meditations on ideas, literary journalism, nature writing, city writing, travel writing, food writing, journals or letters, cultural commentary, hybrid forms, and even sometimes autobiographical fiction. 
most of the time the writing which i like to do is uh, nature writing city writing and most of my essays are personal essays so we go ahead creative non fiction writing can embody both personal and public history it is a form that utilizes memory experience observation opinion and all kinds of research sometimes the form can do all of the above at the same time other times it is more selective so based on my own personal experience most of the time what i write down in my notebook uh either on almost daily basis or three or four times a week i consistently regularly write in my notebook whatever comes to my mind we also call it free writing and i would advise you to buy a bulky notebook and sit down somewhere quiet and peaceful and uh, take your pen and this notebook and begin the exercise of writing for at least 10 minutes initially and write whatever comes to your mind it doesn't matter whether the thoughts or important thoughts or trivial thoughts or common ordinary thoughts and what would be the end result don't don't bother yourself about the value of the writing it can be a term termed good uh, it can prove to be a garbage absolute rubbish a thing of no value but you shouldn't think on these lines in your notebook you should write initially for 10 minutes at a stretch whatever comes to your mind least bothering about its worth and value so this is the reason why i have said that this form utilizes memory experience observation opinion and all kinds of research whatever we are doing is a research and most of the things we observe and note they get stored in our mind and when we sit down to write they come rushing out of our memory and get conveyed in the shape of an essay or a personal essay in our notebook so do please write and i have referred to that kind of writing as free writing do indulge in free writing and that free writing would be your creative non fiction on a certain level on a certain personal level because if it is a personal essay then it 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 comes in the jurisdiction of creative non fiction so uh all these forms we have mentioned earlier what links all these forms is that the i the writer who is writing is in the first person i did this i did that so what links all these forms is that the i the literary version of the author is either explicitly or implicitly present the author is in the work whenever you sit down to write you or uh, if you are talking about yourself and when we talk about ourselves you we say i did this and i did that so uh, i am referring to that i so you are present in your work whenever you sit down to write so this is the work that includes the particular sensibility of the author while it is also some sort of a report from the world be it public or personal world uh, be the be the style which you adopt 
be straightforward like a newspaper feature narrative like a novel or metaphorical like a poem to ab jo bhi jis bhi style mein likhenge to ho sakta hai aapki style akhbar ki tarah ho jaise akhbar mein khabrein likhi hoti hain ya ek kahani ki shakal mein ho jaise novel mein hota hai ya istiare ki zuban mein ho jaise nazm mein hota hai तो लिखें ज़रूर और जब आप अपने बारे में लिख रहे होते हैं तो आप कहते हैं कि आई डिड दिस एंड आई फेल्ट दैट एंड आई डिडेंट लाइक द गर्ल हु विजिटेड आवर होम द अदर डे शी वाज एक्टिंग वेरी क्लेवर और इस तरह की बातें तो ये आई वाला नैरेटिव है फर्स्ट पर्सन नैरेटिव तो बात को आगे बढ़ाते हैं वन थिंग विच इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट इन क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन इज द वर्ड एक्चुअल आई प्रेफर द वर्ड एक्चुअल टू द वर्ड ट्रूथ और यहाँ पर हम ये कहना चाहते हैं कि जो कुछ आप लिखें वो एक्चुअल को देख के लिखें तो यहाँ पर हम ये नहीं कह रहे कि सच लिखें तो जाहिर है वो सच ही होगा तो फिक्शन राइटर्स इन सिस दैट दे टू राइट द ट्रूथ एंड दैट दे मस्ट इन्वेंट इन ऑर्डर टू टेल दिस ट्रूथ आई प्रेफर द वर्ड एक्चुअल टू द वर्ड फैक्ट फैक्ट्स अलोन आर टू ड्राई एंड टू एबसेंट ऑफ एसोसिएशन सो वाई नॉट प्रेफर द वर्ड एक्चुअल टू द वर्ड रियल what is and is not real is continually up for grabs to ek sawal hota hai ke do we know for instance for instance what is a real woman a real man the world real is too laden with assumption assumptions so if we use or prefer the word actual it refers to simple actuality we begin a work of creative non fiction not with the imaginary but with the actual aur yeh baat yaad rakhein ki creative non fiction jo hai wo imaginary cheezon ke bare mein nahi hai takhayalati cheezon ke bare mein wo actual cheezon ke bare mein hai wo cheezein jo aap apne ird gird dekh rahe hain aur agar aap apni nani pe ya nana pe ek detailed koi aise likhti hain या लिखते हैं तो इट वुड बी बेस्ड ऑन एक्चुअल ऑब्जर्वेशन एक्चुअल पीपल एक्चुअल लाइफ तो यही वजह है कि वी बिगिन ए वर्क ऑफ क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन नॉट विद द इमेजिनरी बट विद द एक्चुअल विद वट एक्चुअली इज और एक्चुअली वॉज और वट एक्चुअली हैपन फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट we might move in any direction but the word actual is our touchstone to ye kuch ibtedai baatein hain isko hum aage bhi badhate hain ke to कुछ मशहूर लोग हैं जैसे ली गटकेंड हैं ली गटकेंड डोरथी एलिसन है तो डोरथी एलिसन कहती हैं कि आई हैव यूज द स्टोरीज ऑफ माय लाइफ इन बोथ फिक्शन एंड नॉन फिक्शन in order she says to save my life to writing jo hai aisi cheez hai to aage badhte hain
हमने एलिमेंट्स ऑफ क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन पहले से देखे हुए हैं और हमने ये भी कहा था कि क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक फिक्शन एंड इट इनकॉर्पोरेट्स ऑल द एलिमेंट्स विच यू यूज इन फिक्शन नॉन क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन हैज स्टोरी टेलिंग नरेशन इट हैज करेक्टर इट हैज सेटिंग एंड सीन इट हैज प्लॉट एंड प्लॉट स्ट्रक्चर इट हैज फिगरेटिव लैंग्वेज इट हैज इमेजरी इट हैज पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट हैज डायलॉग इट हैज थीम सो एज रिगार्ड्स द मेन इनग्रीडियंट्स बोथ क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन एंड नॉन फिक्शन आर ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर in a way but even then there is a hell of a lot of a difference between the two uh, i would post this handout this document so we now discuss five hours of creative non fiction <clears throat> कौन सा आर वो आर जो रेस्ट में पाया जाता है या रिपोर्ट में पाया जाता है वो आर तो हम डिस्कस करते हैं पांच आर जो क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन में पाए जाते हैं सो लेट अस डिस्कस फाइव आर्स ऑफ क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन वो कौन से पांच आर हैं अंग्रेजी वाला अल्फाबेट आर जो क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन में पाए जाते हैं एक बहुत मशहूर नॉन फिक्शन का राइटर है ली गटकैन ली गटकैन हु इज ए राइटर प्रोफेसर एंड एक्सपर्ट ऑन क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन रोट एन एसे कॉल्ड द फाइव आवर्स ऑफ क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन अच्छा नाम इसका मैंने चेक नहीं किया है कि ये ली गटकाइंड है या ली गटकैंड है तो अगर नाम इधर उधर हुआ तो उसका उसकी जो है ना आई अपॉलोजाइज राइट नाउ तो अगर नाम गलत हुआ तो उसको ठीक कर लेंगे आई हैव एंड चेक इट तो मेरे दिल में वैसे खलश सी है और शख्स है तो ली गटकन हु इज ए राइटर प्रोफेसर एंड एक्सपर्ट ऑन क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन रोट एन एसे कॉल द फाइव आवर्स ऑफ क्रिएटिव नॉन फिक्शन In this essay, he identified five essential elements of creative non-fiction. These include number one: creative non-fiction has a real-life aspect. तो ये बात याद रखें। और real जो है ये कौन से alphabet से शुरू होते हैं? R से होते हैं। तो ये पहला R आ गया। Lee Gutkin क्या कहता है? Creative non-fiction has a real life aspect the writer constructs a personal essay a memoir and so forth that is based on personal experience he also writes about real people and true events to ye baat kabhi na bhule ki creative non fiction jo hai wo sare ka sara sach hai log hain to real people hain vaakyat hain to true events hain acha dusra aur creative non fiction is based on the writer engaging in personal reflection about what he she is writing about to dusra aur aa gaya reflection wala creative non fiction is based on the writer engaging in personal reflection about what he she is writing about after gathering information the writer needs to analyze and assess what he she has collected he then must evaluate it and expression his thoughts and views and opinions personal opinion is permissible and encouraged to pehla aur kaun sa tha real life dusra aur kaun sa hai reflection now we come to the third aur creative non fiction requires that the writer complete research to teesra aur aa gaya research wala The writer needs to conduct research 
to learn about the topic. The writer also needs to complete research to discover what has been written about the topic. Even if writer is crafting a personal essay, he will need to complete secondary research such as reviewing a personal journal or primary research such as interviewing a friend or family member to ensure that information is that the information is truthful and factual. तो तीसरा और आ गया रिसर्च का The fourth aspect of creative non-fiction is reading, which is of utmost importance. The fourth R, which is reading, R E A D I N G. और मैं पहले भी कह गया हूँ, you can't write without reading. And if you are reading, you must have to write. The two go hand in hand. The two are interlinked. The two are dependent on each other. We can't do without both. The fourth aspect of creative nonfiction is reading. Reading while conducting research is not sufficient. The writer must read the work of the masters of his profession. The final element of creative non-fiction is writing. So the fifth R is writing. And once again I am saying reading and writing are the main ingredient for everything, be it fiction or creative non-fiction. So the final element of creative non-fiction is writing. Writing creative non-fiction is both an art and craft. The art of creative non-fiction requires that the writer uses his talents, instincts, creative abilities and imagination to write memorable creative non-fiction. The craft of, craft of creative non-fiction requires that the writer learn and deploy the style and techniques of creative non-fiction in his or her work effectively. So, Lee Gutkin or Lee Gutkin के जो पांच R हैं, we have discussed the five R's of creative non-fiction, which are very important to remember if you want to develop your writing on a professional level. And professional writers are earning a lot of money in today's modern world. And why shouldn't you earn money? And why shouldn't we all earn money? Because we have to live in this world and we have to sustain ourselves and for that we need money. So, this is the Surah Tehal. Let's increase it. Types of creative non-fiction we have already studied before. I repeat the types once more. Uh, we know creative non-fiction is about fact and truth. Uh, the truth can be about personal experience, event or issue in the public eye. There are many categories or genres to choose from such as the personal essay, memoir and autobiography. So the most popular types of creative non-fiction are number one, personal essay. Uh, in personal essay, the writer crafts an essay that is based on personal experience or single event which results in significant personal meaning or lesson learned. The writer uses the first person, I, in the personal essay. The second one is memoir. The writer constructs a true story about a time or period in his life, one that had significant personal meaning and a universal truth. The writer composes the story using the first person, I. So, in most of the non-fiction, we have the first person I. Many ye ki or many wo kiya. Then comes literary journalism essay. The writer crafts an essay about an issue or topic using literary devices such as the elements of fiction and figurative language. Uh, then comes autobiography. The writer composes his or her life story from birth to the present using the pers first person I. 
and then we have travel writing the writer crafts articles or essays about travel using literary devices we have food writing the writer crafts stories about food and cuisine using literary devices profiles the writer constructs biographies or essays on real people using literary devices and most of the literary devices are common to both uh, creative non fiction and fiction हाँ जी मेरे ख्याल से मैना की आवाज़ आप सुन रहे होंगे द कामन मैना टॉक्स चिकीली एंड वेरी लाउडली एंड हैज ब्यूटिफुल टॉकिंग साउंड तो लेट अस एंड द लेक्चर हियर uh the other tips uh we would uh, talk about the guidelines for writing creative non fiction in the last lecture and i would uh, i'll try my best and would post uh this document i have different documents before me and while preparing my lecture and talking to you uh i do consult them one by one and i am checking them and i'm talking to you and i'm telling you about the qualities and the characteristics of creative non fiction in our next uh, lecture we would talk about the guidelines for creating Oh, sorry for uh, in the next lecture we would talk about guidelines for writing creative non fiction and i would give you a reading list which you perhaps uh, might be able to get through torrents and i i, I would guide you how to find them uh, on torrents and we would talk about the non fiction magazines and the rest of the things till then i wish you well and would advise you to keep uh, covering your courses and to keep reading and writing on a regular basis if you want to make any headway in your practical life because soon after your bs and ma in english you would be in uh, your practical life you would have to earn money on your own and you have to survive on your own the ladies shouldn't worry too much because they get married or wo apne husband ka gale ka haar ban jati hain but most of the boys have to earn and find wives for themselves and jobs and the rest of the things to ummeed hai kisi ne is baat ko bura nahi manaya hoga to ah wo jo cheez sabse aham hai wo ye hai ke likhe padhe aur apne courses ko cover kare i wish you all the best till we meet again goodbye